Burgess, Emily, Emily McAlpine, Matt Piper, Michaela Spencer, Taylor King, and Lizzie Bowman. We're gonna perform some scenes for you today. These are all improv, no, nothing is pre-planned. Our first game is going to be Superheroes. Uh, our performers will perform in a series of superheroes and they will be giving each other superhero identity names and they will be saving the world from uh, some terrible thing that we're going to give them. Performing for us in this order, Lizzie, Jeremy, Michaela, and Emily. So studio audience, we need a bizarre superhero identity. I like Doorman. Okay, Lizzie, you're going to be Doorman, saving the world from a plague of water skiers. <laughs> from a plague of water skiers. Action. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, let me get that door for you. No, you can't come in, sir. I'm sorry. You're going to have to take off your skis first. No. You have to take off your water skis first. I don't even know why you're here. There's no water. Okay, sir, you're being very rude. I think I need the help of Miss Polite here because she really needs my help. Hi, I'm Miss I'm Miss Polite. This this man will not take off his skis. Those are some nice skis. But he has to take them off. But they're so Miss nice. Polite. Miss You look nice as well. I don't Miss Polite. I'm polite. <laughs> You're blocking the Miss door. Miss Polite. Miss Polite. Oh man, get out I of am the way. so sorry for doing that. It's, o it's all right. Hmm. So how was your day? It's fine, except for this this water skier. What's wrong with this Miss guy? Miss <coughs> Polite. Here, look at those I pants. Those are some nice slacks. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Miss Polite, you're not helping me at all. Oh um, man, that's a drag. Miss Polite. Yeah. Can you please help me? I called you for a reason. Well. Hello. May I help you? <clears throat> I am super absorbent, girl. How's it? Well, How's you're it blocking going? my door. Can you move? Thank you. Okay. I. Wait a minute. So. Now I hate to be impolite. You're blocking my door. But no, no, no. I don't no, care about your door. No. I care about absorbing things. But you won't let the Mr. Ski do. With those nice slacks. I'm absorbing the water. Get them off. What? Are you alright? What is she doing? I'm absorbing the water off of his skis. Good job. Thank you. Nice work. I've right never heard that before. Miss Polite. All right, so your dilemma's totally solved, right? No, their skis are still on. You're still blocking my door. Okay, well I'll call retail Can man. Can we just all be polite to each other? Hello. I'm retail man. I'm here. Do you think you could sell those in one of your stores? Well, the thing is, is we are in California, and there's a drought. So there's really no water for skiing, so that's not going to sell. Snow skis! Can we put it that's on? That's it! Snow skis. Even though it's that's California, and it doesn't idea. snow in California. But it's water so rare skis. that it'll sell. Wait, what was that? Water park skis? Water. Water park skis! Yeah! We'll build a water park. And first, first skis! Skis! Sir, would you and be geese. okay and if we geese. take your water skis? That's the combo. So, now what you could do is, being polite and all, you could combo a skier and a geese together. And a, a, a geese? geese? <laughs> you mean? What's a geese? No, okay, no, he's no. really bad at ideas. Multiple I'm absorbing his once. information! Wait, I'm pretty sure you mean gooses. Multiple goose is gooses. Yeah. Okay, so I've learned so much. Polite. Wait! We still have a problem. This guy is still wearing skis and... Wait, why can't you let him in? What's wrong? What's this gonna happen? This is a respectable establishment. I, being the doorman, cannot let just anyone in with anything on. Excuse me, but you let all of us in. No! Wait, guys, guys, he left. Go into the water park. I don't want to go to the water park. There's so much water to awesome. absorb. Should we go to the water park? Woo! Okay, I guess. Since he's gone. I mean, so okay. Leave. Yeah. Okay.
Cool. Oh, see ya. Bye. All right, next up we have questions only. Um, all right, so we're going to compete in two teams of two people. Uh, questions only. The scene can only be in questions. That means only questions, not statements mixed with questions. Um, every line has to be in the form of a question. Uh, if you do something wrong, say something that's not a question. If you hesitate, wait too long, then I'll ding you out, and your partner will jump in and take your place. Matt and Taylor versus... Jeremy and Emily. Yes. Uh, so one person from each team is going to go up, and if your teammate gets buzzed out, then you're going to jump in and take their place. And then if you get buzzed out, they'll just come back in and keep switching like that however you need to. Everybody got what you're doing? Yeah. OK, um, let's give me a location. Canada. Um, Give me a smaller location. Baseball park. Uh, Ohio. Uh, Ontario, uh, Canada. Uh, uh, a water park. A dog park. The head of a pin. What's it called? A the dog pin? park. The head of a pin. You're at a dog park. And uh, what's something we could get in an argument over at a dog park? One of the dogs ate the other dog. <laughs> Whose All tennis right. balls are big? Your dog ate my dog <laughs> is the topic of today's discussion. <laughs> Questions like only. <laughs> Action. What? Your dog! What do you mean, my dog? Why is my dog inside of your dog? <laughs> Why is your dog inside my dog? Why did your dog eat my dog? Why would you ask such a question? Can that you is so give me obvious. back my dog? Why would I? Why would you want my dog, first of all? Can I have yours? What's happening? Oh, no. Continue the same scene. Can I have yours? Can you have my dog? Isn't that what I asked? Didn't your dog just eat my dog? Only you would know that, wouldn't you? How am I supposed to give you something that your dog already ate? to shower. Did you clean your dog? Are you supposed to do that too? Did you yeah, what? Yeah, questionable. <laughs> Wait, what? Grammatically not a question. <laughs> English teacher. Where do I go to take these showers? Why don't you have a bathtub? Why would a homeless person with a dog have a bathtub? Where is your mother? Who is my mother? 
Is your mother a dog too? Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> what would you do if she was? What could I do? Would you shower if your mother was a dog? Does that have anything to do with my mom being a dog? Do you think your mom would be happier if her owner smelled nicer? <laughs> Are you telling me that my dog was my mom that just got eaten? Are you denying the fact that you came from a dog? <laughs> Isn't that kind of hard to believe? Isn't it kind of disrespectful to think otherwise? <laughs> Have you ever thought about things like this before? Have you ever done anything normally? <laughs> Isn't that kind of a vast question? And cut. <laughs> Taylor, quick fire with the questions. I was just like, ah, ah, I don't know. Next up, we have interrogation. One of you is being interrogated for having committed a crime, but everyone in the room knows what that crime is supposed to be, except for the person getting interrogated. And you have to, it's a guessing game. You have to try to figure out in the course of the game what the crime is that you're meant to have done. So our criminal, Michaela, please leave the room. Cops interrogating Michaela, Lizzie, and Jeremy. Cards love Jeremy today. And what is the crime that Michaela is meant to have committed? She stole all of the animal shaped boxes of mac and cheese. <laughs> Leaving everyone else only with elbow macaroni. And no one likes that for fun. <laughs> That's not fun at all. <laughs> so the premise was like we interrogated her, but we avoid telling we avoid telling her what she did, so she right. admits to it. Right. She has to try to. So you can just like ask her questions, and she has to try to like um, just wing her way through the scene without knowing what the scene is about as best she can. As you go on. All right, so Michaela is being interrogated for the aforementioned crime, and she has to work her way through the scene as best she can until she can figure out what she's meant to have done. Action! So, where's the shapes? I don't... Where's the shapes? I don't know. What <laughs> shapes? Good cop, bad cop. Which one? Hmm, you seem pretty good at the bad. So, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Do you want anything to eat? What about boxes? Hey, hey, are you thirsty? Like, do you need water or anything? I want it! Food? Like you need with like, pasta! Do you like cheese? Everyone likes cheese, of course I like cheese. I right? do like cheese. What does okay. that have to do okay. with this situation? Hey, do you like animals? How I'm much sorry, do you like cheese? And what combinations of things do you like with cheese? Hmm? Do you have What about cheese? SpongeBob shapes? <laughs> I liked the Spongebob shaped macaroni, if that's what you're asking! But do you like animals? I have 12 cats. So do you put the animals in the cheese? <laughs> huh? Huh? Why are you asking me this? Huh? Why am I asking you if you put animals in cheese exactly? Because you put animals in cheese! Do you think I right. covered my animals now, in cheese and ate them? In this cheese... Well, that's why you're here. Answer it, that question yourself. <laughs> in this cheese that you might have stolen, might not have, might there happen to be pasta? Very cheap pasta that normally a child would eat, but it's also Are more delicious staying? than the average macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> No. The shaped kind? The Spongebob shaped kind? What exactly are you admitting right now? I'm admitting nothing! I'm no! simply saying- No! I know about Spongebob shaped macaroni. What do you know about Spongebob shaped macaroni? It's magically delicious. No, Wait. no that's <laughs> not the charms. 
<laughs> I don't know if you've ever had Lucky Charms, but Spongebob shaped macaroni is definitely better. I'm sorry, you ever put, I didn't get it. You ever mix the two? You know, That's right. not what I'm talking about! If, you, if you mix the, uh, the Lucky Charms and the Spongebob... WHY AM I TALKING ABOUT MIXING LUCKY CHARMS AND SPONGEBOB MACARONI? Yeah. I TOLD YOU! She, I, she knows! I did not steal Spongebob macaroni! She's a good one. She's a good one. Hey, let's change this top bad top. Okay. So, you know, um, uh, do, you, do you like So, macaroni? can I ask a question? I can get you some uh, macaroni. What does macaroni time. have to do with animals? Everything! Oh, you better get it! it! Where hey, are you with hey, it? Hey, hey, don't listen to him. I'll get you a big cup of cheese him. and some, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you better tell me right now. Okay, it's the dog. You know bar. where it is! Where my cat is? <laughs> now, now, <laughs> now, he'll, he'll leave you alone for a second. It's the jawline. Do, do you like macaroni? Obviously she does! Shh, 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 shh. Yes, I like macaroni. Now, now, what about shaped macaroni? You yeah. already asked that question. I like shaped macaroni. Now what do you put on said macaroni? Not animals. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> Isn't it a condiment? Cheese is not a condiment. No. Ketchup on it? This is a tough one. <laughs> Final guess, what did you what's your crime? Did I put ketchup on Blue's Clues macaroni? What? <laughs> you stole shaped macaroni. You stole animal the animal shaped, shaped macaroni, macaroni. So oh. that everyone else was left with only the is elbow. Is cheese a condiment? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, film and TV and theater styles. So uh, some of you are going to be performing a scene for us based on prompts that we give you. You'll start out just normal performing the scene, and one of you will be chosen as the style guru. And at any point, you can call out a different style of TV show or movie or theater. So Broadway musical, horror movie, old western, or whatever. And they'll have to continue the same scene but switch into the new style for it. <laughs> the rest of the scene, and then at whatever point you can call and switch styles again, um, whenever you want to. So this one, everyone got what we're doing? Yes. Anyone confused? No. Okay. No. Emily, Piper, and Taylor, you're going to be in the scene, and our style guru, Michaela. So whenever you feel like it, just shout out a new style that they're going to have to switch into. Um, let's see. Let's give them... Uh, what's your favorite obscure holiday? Kwanzaa. Groundhog Day. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, Groundhog you can't day. really call that obscure. Groundhog Day. <laughs> Groundhog's Day. Flag Day. Okay. We are at a Groundhog's Day festival. And give me a triangular object that's not a slice of pizza, because that's what everyone always says. Triangle says. head from that game. Who? Silent Hill. <laughs> a triangle. That's terrifying. A triangle. <laughs> a triangle. A piece of pie. Wait, is this a No, a triangle. A folded napkin. Well, I'm a little confused. A folded napkin. Oh. Your scene must involve a folded napkin. And uh, give me, what's your horoscope sign? Cancer. Gemini. Virgo. What's Gemini? The twins. Yeah. Twins. Your scene must involve twins. We do that all the time because we all, you always ask Jeremy. So yeah. we always have twins. Well, he's the only one who knows what his horoscope Mine's a crab. Well, mine's a crab. Mine's a crab. Mine's a crab. It's a crab. All right, well, a crab. I'm sorry. My star sign isn't appropriate enough for you. Hey, what's yours? Virgo. It's the Virgin. Um, all right, so your scene must involve a crab, a folded napkin, and you're at a Groundhog's Day celebration and festival. Nice. Like genres? Like And action. Hi! Welcome to Groundhog's Day. Are you excited for the Groundhog to may or may not see a shadow? Oh boy, oh boy, what a wonderful morning it is with a bright blue sky and a sunny dew drops on the forehead. Wow! <laughs> wow! 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 W
how do you start the car? We're leaving in 20 minutes. Mom, I'm yes. so excited. Okay. I think. I used to be a groundhog okay. once. Style of Western. Do it. Ah! Did you know I used to be the biggest groundhog in these here parts? Okay, so can you explain to me something? Oh, sure, I can, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. You're making me laugh, you see. What do you need there, sunny boy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. I need you to explain. Whoa! <laughs> hey, Go sir. on, Dad. Hey, sir. I like your big old hat. Do you like my big old hat and my big old boots I and like my big, big old, old kneecaps? Crowd drama! Oh my god. Someone died at this Groundhog Day festival. Damn it. He was just a kid. Yeah. All he wanted to do was be the groundhog that I used to be. I used to be a cop. As I was a groundhog. What? You were a groundhog? Stop that crap! Mom! You were a groundhog and a cop. Mom! Tommy died because of your selfishness! What?! Wait, what? Why?! Why did Tommy have to die? He was but a young lad. This is how it has to be. There's so many things happening, and I just can't. You have to help me with my daughter. She's dying. Of Horror movie. She's dying! Oh, God! No! game show where a lucky eligible bachelor or bachelorette is going to ask questions and decide who she wants to go on a date with. It's really a guessing game, so you're trying, uh, the person who's asking the question is trying to guess the identity of the people that she's going to get to go on a date with. So, Jeremy, you're the eligible bachelor. Go out. Gross. People who might get to go on a date with Jeremy... Lizzie. Me. Uh, me. Emily. Yeah. Uh, Piper. Yeah. Yes. Come on, Pipes. <coughs> yeah, Matt, switch out for Michaela. She did, she Trace. barely had one in the last thing. <laughs> Are we all on the thing on the monitor? Hey, it came out gender appropriate. Um, all right, so we need. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Um, <laughs> no one needs to it's protest our show. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we need bizarre personality quirks or identities. Um, Shout them out. She is a historian like from, from the <laughs> mid 1920s. This is starting out real boring, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Emily has a foot fetish. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, no. I actually hate feet a lot. Okay. Oh, We're going to steer clear of fetishes. <laughs> Next. <laughs> she, oh. Bondage oh. kink for This everyone. is a, uh, I don't know. You're really bad with this. <laughs> Can I just talk like that? Like, yeah. <laughs> Good. How she, are doesn't, you? she doesn't know the English vocabulary. She just woke up from being dead for 45 years. Oh, I like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you just got resurrected from being dead for a long, long time. Yeah. You're learning. You're picking things up. Um, Slowly but surely. Uh, uh, Michaela, you are a Soviet spy trying to pass as an American. Okay. And apparently you don't know that the Soviet Union doesn't exist anymore. Emily's a, <laughs> Emily's a time master. Tie master? Tie, yeah, tie master. A knots master. 
a knots master. You are the world champion master knot tire. Yes, yes, my aspirations are finally coming true. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> I love Soviet Russia. Soviet Russia. <laughs> Where should I stand? Um, next to Next to Lizzie would be good. Okay. Yeah, because we don't have a lot of room on the thing. Can you see him? Kinda. Stand like in the corner. You can stand behind him. Yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh God! Hi, <laughs> <Hey>, buddy! <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, and welcome to The Dating Show, where one of these lucky bachelorettes is going to get to go on a date with... Jeremy. Jeremy's going to ask a series of questions to bachelorette number one in the gray <laughs> red shirt, bachelorette number two, and bachelorette number three on Jeremy's right. Uh, and by the end, you're going to have to guess who they are and which one you're going to get to go on a date with. The floor is all yours, Jeremy. All right. Hey. So, um, uh, hi, guys. So, my first question is... Yeah, yeah. What do you like to do on your free time, Bachelorette number one? Um, well, I used to like to write letters and like, you know, go for walks and typewrite stuff, but I don't really know what's in though. Oh. I've been away for a while. Okay. Uh, what about you? What about me? Is that a gun? No, oh, it's him! Burger in the Soviet, I mean America, we eat hamburgers, right? Yeah. All right, that's an, enough out of you. What about you? <laughs> what do I like to do with my free tie, time? Tie? 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 Ties? Time. I didn't win an award for that. Time? <clears throat> time. I like <laughs> just having a grand tie. 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 Ties. Time. Hi. That's what I said. Spice. All right. So time. Cool. Hi. You. That that a gun again? <laughs> What's up with you and the gun? Uh, Never mind. I don't care. It is. So your guys is bearing the arms, right? They're, they're question <laughs> two. That's American, right? This is American accent. American. What's your favorite book? The Bible. <laughs> that's the best on my time. That was like the best seller list. That was like the thing. You should read it. It's really great. All right. And uh, you? My favorite book is American Documents. Got any of those? <laughs> you no, I do not. There's no laces on your shoes. Wait, What's no, the reason for this? What's your answer to the question? About books. Um, I really like okay. the book Land Before okay. Tie. Okay. Ties. Get off of me! Tying. Ties. All right. So. I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today. That's all the ties we have? Which one of these lucky bachelorettes is going with you? What do you mean, all the ties? There needs to be more. All right. So, um, uh. I'm Go where? I don't know. I'm a little lost. I think everyone I know is dead. Will you be my favorite? <laughs> and with that, make your guess. All right, so is uh, Bachelorette number one? I thought you said the Bible, so. Are you Anne Frank? <laughs> I'm not sure. Wait. Why would Anne Frank's favorite book be the Bible? I don't, like, I know it doesn't make any sense, but I was curious as to. She's uh, just been resurrected after being dead for a long, long time. All right. So, are you, I mean, you're a Soviet spy, right? I'll give it to you. All right, all right, I got you. And you said tie a lot. So, I can only assume that uh, you're uh, not tired. Or a boy scout, because they tie a lot. World champion, not tired. I was close. So who's your Use choice? That. Use that. 
You'll wow. never go un- Strings will never be untied. Will you be my tied? Well, my new life. I'll buy tied laundry. She is weird. <laughs> tied laundry. I, I can jump. show you how to shoot gun. Tied pants. I'm not a big fan of tied shoes. Lift. I like slippers. Ah! I have a pretty big fascination with communism. <laughs> All right, bachelorette number two. Ah. <laughs> And cut.